Hey everyone, it's Bob. Welcome back. Well, next step of our trommel build. This will be uh, where I take some sheet metal. It's uh, 1 8 inch thick. This is 20 inch by 20 inch. You see, I've got a cross on the center of it. I'm going to drill a little hole there. And then we're going to take a plasma cutter and we're going to cut out the same diameter as the end of the trommel tube and then inside that there's going to be an eight and a half inch diameter hole where the tube that feeds into the trommel the slurry uh, which will set into that usually they don't have anything on the back but as this is a recirculating system we don't we want to control how much water we lose or we want to minimize the amount of water that we lose because we're going to be recirculating so I'll show you the uh, two. I don't have the roller, so this is one eighth inch material. And I had one of the local fabrication shops uh, roll it out for me. And uh, I did the welding. We welded it right here and on the inside as well. These are just some clamps to keep the gap. And I played around over here with a flux core welder. Uh, this is going to be cut out. It's only going to be welded this far because this is what's going to go into the eight and a half inch diameter hole that goes on the end of the trommel tube. So this line here is going to remain being cut. Or I'm not going to weld it. I'll, I'll cut that out right there. And this welded section, some of it will extend inside to the trommel tube. And this here, um, just to give you a sketch, is going to go probably halfway around and then cut this way. So this whole piece here is going to be taken out. And then we'll have, I have the sheet metal already. We're going to cut it and it's going to be our secondary hopper where everything that runs through the grizzly uh, the two inch material and uh, the two inch plus material will fall off the end of the grizzly and anything smaller will dump into this stationary hopper. The reason why I have two um, is because the primary hopper with the grizzly is going to be much bigger and it's going to be vibrating on springs. We're going to have some sort of a uh, vibratory setup. I don't know if it's going to be, uh, I, I think it's going to be just a a shaft running across from the side to side of the, of the hopper with uh, a pulley in the middle going to an electric motor. And then I'll have some off-centered weights on the ends, both ends of the shaft on, on the outside of the hopper. And when it gives electricity, uh, power to the unit, those offsets will spin on the shaft that's being turned by the pulley. And as the whole thing's on springs, it, it, it should shake pretty well. And of course, we'll have water going up there. I think I may have one water line uh, right in the back uh, here where I don't want uh, material to accumulate so we'll have one jet of water and then everything else coming in but you'll see that as we as we continue with the with the construction so right now uh, let me get this plasma cutter set up what do I have to show you guys do you remember on my pulley I made a tool for uh, for the plasma cutter torch to cut around. Uh, I thought I threw it out, thank God I didn't because I still have it. And we knocked off uh, the socket that I used for the center that fit into the bore of the original sprocket. I grinded and cut the uh, ground and cut that off and we're gonna put a small um, drill hole in there. And then uh, we'll use that to center as we spin that unit around. Okay, well we, arranged our tool and we cut the two guide holes one for the 17 and a half inch diameter and the other one for the eight and a half inch diameter that's going to go uh, inside of that we've got the plasma cutter all set up my amperage is set at 30 31 i don't think i need a lot press has been fixed i got some uh how to change the pressure control switch it works pretty well. It's kind of set higher than usual, but that's okay. I think the, hand, the unit can handle it.
Okay, not the neatest cut in the world, but we're able to the outside, the inside where this tube's going to go feed. Now, this is just a piece of the tube, if you all remember from the other videos, that we took them off the ends, just to square the ends. So I use them for references. So this is going to be fastened to the end of the tube as it turns, and this right here will be the feed for all the slurry, slurry material that comes in as the tube's turning. Of course, this won't turn. So another step closer. Tomorrow we'll try to get this attached to the tube itself, and then we'll start making the... Uh, getting this situated in place where we want it and we're going to build the hopper around it and up so stand by for that update